Hey, what is going on out there, YouTube? Welcome back to Crucial Farms. Uh, well, here in Fredericksburg, in Virginia, where Crucial Farms is located, you know, small, modest farm that I've built by hand over the last six months. Well, we've gotten some rain. A lot of rain in the last three days. So much rain that I spent the better half of this morning digging this trench over here that goes underneath the fence, as you can see, because there was such a pool of water sitting here that it needed to, well, go there into the woods. Uh, there's still some water here sitting. It is actually still flowing ever so slightly. Uh, but uh, yeah, so I'm definitely gonna put in some type of drainage system, uh, probably some type of uh, perforated or corrugated perforated piping system to go along the back end of the greenhouse. So to so start over there and come down and then go down this way so it'll come on a grade this way and then down that way and then over again and out <clears throat> and then bury it all back in of course hopefully that will help with water flow because it's gotten pretty soupy in a couple spots in the greenhouse but also the problem was we had the ground was frozen up until three or four days ago then it got to be 60 some degrees global warming i guess is what what we're dealing with so the ground thawed so it was completely saturated, had no time to, you know, dry at all. And then the rains came, and it hasn't stopped raining now for three days. So the ground is so soupy that I can literally, like here is a little solid. But if you come over right here, not, not a few feet later, or later further, uh, your foot just can go, just goes under into the nice, my nice dirt. Uh, wipe my foot off, but yeah, so that's all that's going on right now. So I figured also Why not give everybody a quick update of the bonsai trees? So we'll go ahead and walk all the way over there and uh, We'll take a look at them Also, the reason I'm outside is because I'm waiting on the septic guy because the septic tank is so full uh, we can't do anything so Well, we've done very few things uh, we need to do some laundry anyway, and since all the drains run there, that's what we have to deal with. Oh, we're here up to the shade house. You get to see all of the bonsais, and they're all looking, they're all looking pretty good. I have a couple concerns. Maybe if anyone out there knows more than I do, but I've got some. Uh, some black leaves coming. It doesn't look like entire branches have really died. It just appears that, like, I guess it's just shedding a few leaves. I guess it could be like a winter thing, but I've been picking them. This guy over here, I've noticed, is doing it the most. Doesn't seem to be all, like I said. It just seems to be a few. Uh, this one, not really at all. It had some ch color changing. This guy is the same as this one, and these two are the same as this one. And they're all having about the little bit of the same going on. So I'm thinking if all three of them are shedding some leaves, then I shouldn't be too concerned. So if you have answers for me on that, these are, all three of those are Japanese uh, hollies. Japanese hollies that I turned into bonsais, of course. There's videos on all of them. If you just go search my playlists for bonsai trees, you will see that. Uh, here's a little one still here. Here's this little guy with the cute little giraffe. We got a little zebra back here. Yeah, using the GoPro, I can really get in here close and give you guys good shots of all the trees. Here's my newest one with the penguin. I just stuck the penguin in there because I had it. And so <laughs> There's my donkey. He's got a drip on him. But down here is Mr. As you saw in the last video screenshot. Now I have a few other animals, and I thought about what do you guys think about get doing a, maybe a giveaway, and I, I give away uh, an animal, you know, for for your bonsai tree at home if if, you, if if you're here for bonsai or for anything else. If if you're here just because you like to watch the things I post, maybe you'd like to win a little animal. You can just put it on a shelf. I got a moose. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think about that. Here we go. Here's a tree. Another tree right here. This is a green velvet boxwood. I've got a few of these little elephants. I like the elephants. 
Now down over here is my broken pot. Uh, this guy I plan to do, eventually I'm gonna do a repotting of him. I just need to get some more soil in. So that is ordered, so it will be coming soon. And we need to go find a pot for this guy. Uh, so eventually I'll find a pot for him because uh, if you remember or not, this had completely broken because of the weather. Uh, but it, it's going to need repotting anyway because of that. So soon that will be done. Uh, the moss grew in really, really nice on this one. I really, really love how it came out after just one, after just last year. Uh, and last but not least, uh, one of my favorites. I know the pot, the pot is non-traditional, but... I got my fox in there and he's really cool. I put some moss in it recently. So this one here and this one here are probably my two favorites. And this one here is pretty close with the turtle just because of how cool the tree looks itself. So yeah, uh, if you like what you see and you like what you saw today and you wanna see more of it, well, please hit that subscribe button. We just uh, reached 1,050 subscribers this morning. I can't take, I can't take, whew, let me regather my thoughts. Be one with the, the calmness. <laughs> anyway, I have for completely for lost my train of thought now. I usually, that usually doesn't happen too much. <laughs> Roar. Anyway, if you subscribe lately, uh, I really appreciate it. If you're a subscriber that's been here for a long time, that you know that I appreciate you being here. I'm going to continue to upload videos. Uh, almost, We're almost into spring, so soon the seeds are going to get in the dirt, and the plants are going to get to start growing, and my farm hopefully will start generating some revenue. So if you'd like to be here for that, there's going to be a lot of that coming up. So I'm sure there'll be bonsai videos as well, because there are a few of these that will be for sale. So if you are local and you are in the Virginia area and you're interested in purchasing a bonsai, uh, I have a few that I might be selling. Uh, you can contact me uh, via email uh, or, or just go ahead and you know message me on here on the YouTube channel and I can contact you back. I have a few for sale. It's, it's not really a thing I've you know planning planned on doing but I've realized that with taking care of the farm this coming year it's going to be a lot of work to also take care of the bonsai trees at the same time so I'd like to limit the ones that I'm keeping for long term limit it to just a few and try to you know dwindle down my collection some so uh, thank you all again and uh, I'll see you real soon bye bye hello everyone and welcome back to Crucial Farms my name is Patrick I am the owner and proprietor. I can't even speak English. <laughs>